Hello everyone. Welcome to BDOT's Material Certification School for Slurry Surfacing. My name is Todd Rohr. I'm a field engineer out of Central Office Materials and I'm here to give a brief introduction to VDOT, um, what this program is, how we certify, why we certify, um, and kind of what your expectations for this course should be. Um, we're going to start with a brief video developed by VDOT's Public Relations Department. Um, pretty much the purpose of this is to kind of give you a global aspect of everything VDOT gets involved with. Transportation is critical to our society and the lifeblood of our economy. You are now an important part of the VDOT team. The team charged with keeping Virginia moving. What we do at VDOT every day matters. Our work has a direct impact on the quality of life of the millions who call Virginia home, the millions who come here to visit, and the millions impacted by the Virginia and the United States economies. Our work serves society. Our team has a high calling. What we do at VDOT every day is done well. We are nationally recognized for being the best. We are dedicated and out in front whenever needed, serving our citizens well. We're not afraid to do it first, and we're not afraid to lead. We are the first Department of Transportation in the country to implement many of the latest safety real-time travel information and congestion alleviation technologies. If a cutting-edge transportation technology is effective, you can expect to find it in use in Virginia. If a new technology shows promise, it's a sure bet the VDOT team has a leading role in the research. We are equipment operators and procurement specialists. We are scientists and engineers. We are business planners, environmental and human resource specialists. We are communicators and traffic safety specialists. We are 125 occupations, planning, building, maintaining and caring for Virginia's highways and those who travel on them. We are young workers just getting started and experienced workers, some who have served VDOT for decades. We are from Virginia and from all over the world. We are from diverse cultures and religious backgrounds. We reflect and represent Virginia and the USA. We work well together. We move forward and get the job done together. We are one VDOT, one team. Planning and constructing new roads and maintaining 57,000 miles of existing roads is a big job. So is inspecting and maintaining more than 12,000 bridges. The VDOT team does it every day. Operating tunnels, toll roads, and ferry services is a big job. So is operating safety service patrols, safety rest areas, and welcome centers on the interstates, and more than 100 commuter parking lots. The VDOT team can handle it and does so every day. VDOT is part of the Governor's Multimodal Transportation Plan, a unified vision that brings together eight agencies covering every mode of transportation from planes, trains, cars, and ships to space flight. We work closely with these, our sister agencies, to produce the greatest possible economic opportunity and prosperity from every tax dollar spent on transportation. VDOT is part of every community in Virginia. There are nine district offices, 29 residencies, more than 180 area headquarters, and the central office in Richmond. There are five traffic operation centers, a customer service center, and many other facilities and offices. From Southwest Virginia to Hampton Roads to Northern Virginia and all points in between, VDOT has the state covered. You are here because you share our vision and you've got what it takes to be on this crucially important team. You've got what it takes to carry forward, to grow with us, and help us create Virginia's future in transportation. We need you here. We need your skills, your ideas, and your talents. We need your dedication and your enthusiasm. And we need your desire to grow and develop. We want you to help us meet our business goals by meeting your own professional development goals. The VDOT team is ready to help you help us. Welcome to VDOT. One VDOT, one team keeping Virginia moving.
So one of the reasons why we have um, these certifications is, is a contract requirement. Anytime um, you as a technician or inspector or even as a VDOT employee or out on a project certifying these materials, um, we're required by specification um, that you be certified, that you understand what the material is, how to apply it, um, how to expect, inspect it, and how to accept it. Um, and we do that within section uh, 114.01 is the specification requirements um, that lists all the different applications that we do that require certifications. And so if you'll see that this fourth bullet down is showing that placement of slurry surfacing requires the presence of a certified slurry surfacing technician. Um, and that's the certification you'll get out of this class. So as part of the certification, you'll be required to take a written exam at the end of this course. Um, a lot of our courses will also require you to pass a proficiency exam, um, especially if there's a lot of testing involved. Um, and so this, as you kind of zoom in on this, will show you all the different um, certifications we offer and which ones require proficiencies or not. Um, for this particular course, slurry surfacing technician, there is no proficiency exam required, so all you have to do to get the certification is pass the written exam at the end of this course. A little bit about project communication and how VDOT structures its contracts. Typically, a given contract will include a set of plans, standard drawings, standard specifications, um, and from there we'll go into special or supplemental specifications if we need to change something within those standard specs, um, special provisions if you have something unique to a project, uh, special provision copy notes if there's something pretty unique to a route. And so this slide gives us a good hierarchy of how those documents are related. Um, we start with our standard drawings and standard specifications, um, and those are the same from project to project to project. They're kind of our baseline or foundation of what we're doing when we get into a roadway. Um, the next in the hierarchy is our supplemental specifications. If we, want to need, if we need to change something from the standard, we'll do it within a supplemental specification. Same thing with the plans. If we want to change something from standard drawings, we'll develop unique plans for a given project. Um, and then if we need to add materials or add unique uh, circumstances on a given project, we'll use special provisions um, and special provision copied notes. So if you have a conflict between the two documents, the document con that controls is the one farther to the right on this chart. So your special provisions will control over supplemental specifications and the standard specifications, and your plans will control over your standard drawings. The types of communications you can expect on a VDOT project, almost every paving or slurry surfacing project you run into, we will have pre-construction conferences um, just prior to um, getting out in the field and starting work. Um, within those pre-construction conferences, you'll have the project manager, um, usually the area construction engineer, the contractors, the QA, the QC, just to kind of go over everything that's going to be done on the road to make sure we're all on the same page as far as the work required to be done. Throughout the course of a schedule or a, um, or a project, you'll have formal meetings, usually weekly meetings, progress reports. Um, there's a lot of information sharing going on, lots of emails making sure contractor VDOT um, construction materials are all on the same page. So V.U is VDOT's online learning management system and you must have an account in V.U to access uh, your certification documentations. Um, and you can go to this link, virtualcampus.vdot.virginia.gov, um, to get registered for an account. And so that was it. This was just a brief introduction to VDOT, what the material certification school is, and which requirements for this slurry surfacing class is. And so with that, we'll begin the slurry surfacing school.